Hey you guys, welcome back to another Let's Build the Moors Home. Um, this is part three. Thank you guys for sticking around this long for all of you who have. And um, if you haven't watched the previous two parts, I will try to remember to um, add the playlist to the description down below and hopefully remember in the future parts to do that as well. Um, so, as you can see, there's new things, new things. I was able to get build um, the debug mode working. Yeah, and it was better build and buy mod. So many Bs. I'm getting tongue twisted here. But um, yeah, I was able to find all the foliage that I wanted to use, all the flowers, the things that I think Lily, and I named the wife Lily, so her name is going to be Lily Moore and the things that I thought she would like in her front yard. Um, something else that I did off of camera, I actually did a few things. I changed in here just slightly, you might not even notice. I moved the wind chimes back in the corner. I felt like it would look a lot better like in person if the wind chimes were over the end table versus the coffee table. I moved the rug back and the couch a little forward so that way the front two legs of the couch will be on the rug and it wouldn't look so strange. So now they have a little more of a walkway which is nice so one can garden and the other one can walk or do whatever they're going to do. But um, I also added um, foliage on the side a little here. I got to do a little terrain painting. I don't want to do too much because it ends right here, so I don't want it to look strange, you know? And um, I also grabbed some other stuff from build mode, not build mode, debug mode that I want to use here. I had some pretty cool ideas um, to make like a little rock path or whatever going to that um, planter box over there and I added more foliage and I really like this. I've seen this in a lot of houses in like California where they have these type of bushes on the side of the house and a few little um, other bushes that have flowers on them to give it like a little pop of color and I would think that Lily loves lavender. <laughs> Not lilies but um, yeah I thought that the colors would really tie into the world and I feel like she would be the type of person that would want to you know bring the outdoors in and bring her surroundings around her home into her home or on her property and um over here as well I was thinking of what I wanted to do maybe either a border around here so that way it doesn't look as strange but yeah I thought this would be like a little nice area her and her husband can sit out and enjoy the nice cool breeze underneath the shade well warm breeze underneath the shade and um oh one other thing that I changed or well, more so like added I added a window here instead of um well the same window here instead um I forgot that we had the um new update where the windows don't gray out and yeah, I think that's all of the changes that I've made. Basically the landscaping and the window here and in this general area. And I think that's all. So let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, I guess we should start with this area since I already have the rocks out. And I think I want to move this just a little bit forward this way. I haven't really decided if I still want to put um, like hedges here because I don't want it to be completely blocked out like from this area. They have a small yard, but I feel like having it open gives it the illusion that their yard is a little bit bigger than it actually is. You know, like a little side yard over here. And if they have um, pets, which I'm pretty sure I will be giving them some type of pet that they can run around here freely and I don't want to close it off to that. So yeah, let's uh, maybe move it right here. I, mean, I don't know if I want to use these or not, but I thought like laying them around like he didn't get a chance to finish like the fence or something or this wood wall over here on this side. And oh, him, his name is going to be Bruce Moore. 
So yeah, we got names for our two sims here. Now, you know, they can be called something or be referred to as who they are versus just some random he, she, older couple thing. Okay, what just happened? <laughs> is it, oh, is the ground unleveled? Hold on, let me go ahead and try to level this ground. Okay, hey you guys, I had to go ahead and speed up this part. It was getting just a little bit tedious, you know, <laughs> and I didn't want this whole part to be me trying to flatten and level the terrain to make it usable. So what I end up doing because I was still having trouble and I couldn't get it to flatten the way how I wanted to, I decided to move the, um, what is it called, the planter box back a little because the flooring in front of it or the ground in front of it was more level. And then I decided to just put the rocks around that and I actually like the way how it turned out. And yeah, you can kind of see here I was still struggling a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. And in the end, I end up getting it to work and looking really nice, if I do say so myself. And um, yeah, you'll also see in this little skip bit that I did some terrain paint around it to make it look more realistic. You know, you can't have a rock path with it looking like there's grass just like perfectly going around it. But um, you can also see that I sized down some of the rocks. That's what I was trying to do earlier, but it wouldn't let me because I already placed them down. So I had to go back into the bug menu to um, size them down. Yay. <laughs> Fun times. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. So we'll pretty much be getting back into the regular video. So yeah, you guys. I mean, I think that's good. Like I said, I wanted to keep this little piece of wood here. I don't know, maybe she's making um, gardening signs or whatever. I think that would be like kind of like a cool idea. Um, I'm going to go back into the bug. And I want to, I was thinking about what I wanted to use as a border. And I think, you know, those wood planks. Not that, that's a log. <laughs> They're like these wooden planks that I think would be really useful here. I don't know. How do I feel about that? No. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but it's not what I'm really looking for. You know, it's like, it's just okay. That's actually would be kind of cool like a little picket fence maybe and then maybe another one here and I can flip it size this down and I think it comes with posts will not come with posts but there's post and debug what's going on I can't really tell where I am <laughs> Um, I'm gonna turn it this way. Maybe that will look a little better. Okay, that's not bad actually, but what can I put here? Like, I like this. It kind of gives it that homey garden feel. And I'll also add a little bit more um, terrain paint here as well. But I still would like to use those wooden planks. Maybe I was just moving really fast and went like right over it or something. I mean, it wasn't that one. There were longer ones, but I don't see it right now. So maybe I'll just stick with those for now and see if I can find them later. Oh, this would be kind of cool behind here. Let's see. What is this? No, the red is the red on the wood is a little too red for my liking, at least for Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I was thinking like something like this, and when you actually look, it has like this step up look to it. And I actually really like that. 
So what is this one? That one's a little higher up. And this one is... I mean, this one's okay. We can stick with this one. And um, let's do another one right here and we'll put it on the inside. I mean, nobody's gonna really notice it ends there, right? <laughs> um, how do I like that? I mean, it's okay, but the woods really do clash, don't they? Huh. Is there any better looking colors? Not really liking it. I mean, it was all good in my head <laughs> until you finally put it on, like, right in front of you. I don't really like that, so we'll come back to that. Maybe I'll see if there's something else in the catalog that would look better there, but I'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and um, move this back up to one step. And yeah, do I like that color? That's, I actually like this one a little more, at least right here. I think it blending in a little bit here. I know it's blending in, but I think it'll make the greenery that'll be in it, the plants that'll be in it pop just a little bit more. And I think I would like that a whole lot better. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the inside, the interior. So I kind of wanted to have like the kitchen to be wrapped around. Um, have that old school feel to it, you know, and I was thinking of I'll probably put the stove here Yeah, I think that will be a good idea put the stove there and I think I want to put the microwave over here and the sink there and for the upper cabinets Where are you there you are? I was thinking that I'll have like that built-in look for the microwave and um, I don't know what size I'll need for the kitchen, not the kitchen, the um, uh, what is it called? The refrigerator. I just said it earlier. <laughs> um, I don't know what size cabinet I'm going to need for that, but this is why I wanted to put the windows um, locked on to um, a this height instead of using the alt to kind of guide where I want it to be because I want I wanted the cabinets to fit flush across and I knew I was probably going to use the whoops 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 <laughs> I was probably going to use the shorter the smaller cabinets and they fit and look better when the windows these windows are locked on so that's why I decided to do that and I think that was in part one if I'm not mistaken and let's see I think how does no I don't like the way how that look we'll put the plain one here and then we'll do the short ones across does that look okay <laughs> I think so it kind of gives me this Miami um vibe I don't know why but it does <laughs> And that's kind of the vibe that I wanted to go for. I hardly ever use these counters and um, cabinets, by the way. So it's kind of nice to try to venture off a little bit and use something different. But um, I know what stove I want to use. I'm thinking this one. But do I want it in black? or Oh, this one's actually not bad, but that's a little too matchy-matchy. I feel like it's a little too matchy-matchy. And anyway, the um, I don't like the um, the way how the um, the fridge is built into the side. I like it, but I don't like the fact that I can't use it with any other counters or cabinets than the um, Parenthood ones. I wish that the way how they made the cabinets, like the upper cabinets. And I'm pointing like you guys can see. Like the way how they made these cabinets. I wish it, they had a cabinet for each one that had like a, um, a slot where you can put the fridge into. And like for the microwave. I think that would be so cool. I don't know if that's like too much work or something. But 
I like the idea of that, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's too short. We're gonna go ahead and use this one. Is that okay? I mean, it's alright. In the microwave. Oh, I know what microwave too. It's kind of like that whole little set. Or at least it seems like it's me. And I mean, it's like a little bit clipping in, I think. But I feel like they can get the door open none the least. And yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling I'd be changing you. Let's see. I think... Mm. That one's okay. I kind of wish that it was the same chocolatey color because that's like way too chocolatey and that's black. And though there's like black there, I feel like it just, it looks brown. So I think it's black. It might even be like a dark brown. <laughs> um, what else do we need? Like mandatory thing in the kitchen. Uh, sink. Yes, definitely a sink. And I always do that. I click on the objects that are already highlighted. And yeah, and I'm like, you didn't really need to do that, you know. <laughs> um, let's see. I like this, the way how it's like the same color as these. I don't typically like that, but I like it for this family. And I want to put shelves up here. And before I forget... I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And let's see, which shelf would be good here? No, I feel like that's too modern. Ooh. This comes in darker colors, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe. Let's get a little closer. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Two or one. Let's see what two is. Well, two will look like with a range hood. And the range hoods are in here, aren't they? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, and I like this one. So, yeah. It's kind of got this industrial look to it, but not quite. I can see, like, one of them or both of them into cooking, like doing some things, you know? I mean, I like the two. I can see putting some plants. Not a lot of plants, but plants up here. And yeah, that'll look nice. I wonder if you can get to the seasonings in the debug. I'll have to check that out and see, but yeah, I can't wait to clutter this up. Um, what else would they have, like in appliance-wise? I mean, I could see them having a popcorn maker or something and having like a movie night, husband and wife movie night. And oh man, I can also see them with like this older looking coffee maker or it looks older looking to me. But no, I think that would be over here by the sink. I could see them waking up or she could be like a tea drinker and he be a coffee drinker. That's like so cute to me. <laughs> um, what else? I think that would be like it for appliances in here. And oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot the flooring. <laughs> yeah, so that wouldn't have been a thing. Okay, so yeah. Let's do that. Um, I wish we had trash compactors. I feel like... They would be the family that have it, but I guess I can put a little trash can right here. Or what do you think they would have there? I don't think it would be outside. I think they would have their bin um, in here. And let's see. I get way too in my Sims. Like, what would they buy at the store <laughs> type thing? And yeah. What can we put here? I don't know if I want to put like some type of plant like growing up on the wall or something like that i think like a bookshelf would look nice there maybe i mean we can just try it and see let's go to uh, where are the bookshelves i think they're in storage yeah they're in storage something open no that's way too modern i feel like for them 
No, I mean, hold on. I don't know, I feel like that's... No, not in the kitchen. It has like boxes and stuff. And I don't really feel like that fits for the kitchen. Whoa, and that's like way, way, way too big. I really can't see them having something like that. That isn't bad. I mean... Let's see what colors they have with it. And maybe I'll move this over here. Move you here and then move you like that. I mean, that's okay. It's not like not okay. I wonder if they can still use that. They should be able to. They're pretty good about routing in The Sims 4. I don't know. I kind of like that. I just wish this was darker. Like that looks better. And then I can put like a plant here maybe. Oh I wish we had like hanging ivy plants and like a potted plant. And then like a pitcher here. I mean that wouldn't look bad. And maybe a rug or something. Sorry I am keep going around and around in a circle. <laughs> I apologize you guys. I get so like engrossed in what I'm doing. Um what else? Yeah, I have that um little Sam little Miss Sam's mod. Oh my gosh, I love that mod, but I think that's broken too. Like in my off game household that I play in, like um the guy had a loan to buy a house with his um girlfriend and at first the loan was going down and then all of a sudden it went back to like 30 something thousand and every time he puts money towards it, it it doesn't go down. It stays at the 30 whatever thousand it was. But um, you know, while we're at bookshelf, I did think of one that I want and it's not this one. Like I can see this and like a study but they don't really have a study <laughs> it's one bedroom um but where is it did i pass it up i can't even remember which pack it come with but i know it's like a newer one so which pack did it come with oh you know what it might not even be a bookshelf it might actually be a shelf I didn't think of that. Yeah, this one. Ooh. <laughs> I like this one. Not there, but I want to use it somewhere. I wanted to put a fireplace over here, but maybe... Oh, maybe like... Whoops. <laughs> it wasn't trying to do that. Maybe I can put it over here. And... I was thinking maybe dining room with a fireplace here and then the living room here but I also want to put a TV and well that looks strange having TV, bookshelf, fire, um, fireplace. I mean I could put the fireplace here. Okay okay we're getting off the track we need to get back into the kitchen where <laughs> I'm supposed to be finishing off. Okay. <laughs> Um, but two? No, I'm good. Thank you. What is, what would this one look like? Is this a hanging one, yeah? I know I just said I need to get back to it, but. But they have, no, it doesn't. I don't like the way how it looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a rug in. Um. Not really sure what I want for a rug in here. I know I use this outside, but let me see what it looks like here. I think they would have a bigger one in here. And color scheme wise, no. I feel like that's like a little too big, like a little obsessive. I don't know, let me check it out with some colors I might change my mind that's a little too neutral like samey same I feel like they would at least have like 
a different color rug in here. I mean, that doesn't look all that bad. I wish it was like a little narrower, like the these, but I want it not as traditional, you know? Do they have anything that's a little more plain than this one? I don't think they do. Like, those colors are pretty traditional. The patterns on it, I mean. Let's... Mm, I don't really see that. Like, I can see her wanting a couch with that pattern, but not on the inside, you know? <laughs> Let's see how this looks. Yeah, so terracotta plant. I want ivy. Like, I really want ivy. Like, in Paralyzed. <laughs> Not trying to make this video about Paralyzed, but who's excited for that? Like, I've been following along since, like, the beginning. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm kind of in love with the game already. And I tried not to be because I'm very impatient. <laughs> Um, oh, I could totally see this in their house. Yeah, I can. So we're going to put that off to the side. <laughs> um, so many things are putting off to the side. Like, am I ever going to find the one? You know? Ooh, this might look nice up here. Let's try moving it up. I don't think this could go on the... No, it doesn't. Please, a please, please work, <laughs> please, no, I will love you long time, okay, oh my gosh, are you serious, really, really though, whatever, if it doesn't stick through the bottom, it's a stain, so, okay, yeah, it's stained, is it me or does it look like super dark, but, I feel like that red, I don't know, I'm not really liking it as much as I thought I would. <laughs> I could totally see her with like so many hanging plants, especially in the living room by the chairs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and um, some plants here as well, like some of these by the window. I might actually move. I want to make it a little smaller and we'll do the same with this one to make like you know a little smaller and there's another terracotta plant that I would like. I think it's this one. Yeah it's that one. So let's go ahead and move you up. Please don't be floating. Okay, good. You're not. Let's put you, like, I think you right here. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys. I thought I had to sneeze. Um, let's move you back here. And, oh yeah, you can't move back. I think I'm going to move that one over there. So, let's move you over here. And you right here, just like so and we're gonna move you back and you this way like that and yeah let's see what you're looking like oh i like that so much the little terracotta plants yeah i can see her having like terracotta plants everywhere like every freaking room, especially like in the kitchen where they can get a lot of light and stuff. Ooh, that's nice. It doesn't float. Heck yeah. I can, and then I can put you technically anywhere I want because yes, I love that. Okay. <laughs> um, but what color do I want to make you? Because I think I want to make you an actual color. I mean, I can go with the blue, but I feel like the red is going to pop and add. And I want to see a little pop of red, like, all over her kitchen. Well, their kitchen. Um, 
that's nice but Oh, that would look so cute outside, but like, do I really need to keep adding stuff outside? <laughs> like, seriously though. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I like this. I can, I can totally see her having this. That's probably why I like this so much. Like, you know, just a little. Yeah, and see, look, it's got the blue. Okay, I'm leaving it. You don't like it you can do whatever you want to do when you download this house but for now it's going to stay right there where i have it um no that's not what i want to do there hmm i still want to put like a hanging plant like <laughs> i'm really stuck on that maybe it'll look better with oh maybe instead of having a plant hanging you know those um paintings that we got the ones with like the leaves i can't remember what they're from it's not that one i just wanted to see what this looks like here hmm like what if i put this like that does it look like it's leaning on there kind of it kind of does I mean, nobody's gonna know except for you and me, so. <laughs> um, ooh, I bet this house would look so nice. I could see them being the family that decorates for every holiday. And I'm like that. Well, I haven't done it yet. But I want to decorate for, like, every holiday. Like, Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween, um, Christmas, and Thanksgiving, if I haven't already said it. But I think I did. <laughs> like every holiday and i want to make like my own decorations as well and buy decorations but yeah who's excited for the holidays i can't wait until thanksgiving i know halloween just passed but yeah i'm already excited for the next thing <laughs> um yeah but back to trying to look for that picture um ooh, would they be the i think that they would be the people or you know the couple that would go on vacation to solani and get pictures and stuff of the wildlife there yes yes i can totally see that i know i probably won't be able to use all of these but i am going to grab them all anyway and then decide later which ones i want to put in there Okay, this is probably obsessive, but I still need to go through and choose which one. And I'm still looking for other stuff. But, um, oh, is this the one? Is this what I'm looking for? Yes, this is what I'm looking for, you guys. Yes. I mean, it's white, though. The um, frame and... Man. <laughs> I feel like... Like, the white frame doesn't stick out enough but i really really like these like i could totally see them having these around the house like that's nice though isn't it oh man <laughs> it never goes my way but let's just keep looking i mean maybe i can size them down and they'll look better you know is it like I like that maybe I'll size them down and it can be like she um, had taken these leaves from outside and um, you know how some people take like the leaves from like the autumn leaves or whatever and then they um, frame them yeah maybe she could have done that you know you never know she might be into that kind of thing. I was like, where's the other leaf? <laughs> oh my gosh. I freaking love this picture. Like, these frames. And I totally have that, like, all crooked. Um, yes. Like that. I mean, it's a little crooked. And it's like really kind of bothering me I think that's fine okay well that's just gonna have to be fine 
yeah, it'll just have to be fine. And since that didn't go technically as planned, maybe, just maybe, if I sized you down, mm, I don't know, I feel like I don't really trust that, like, you know, <laughs> like, they won't be able to actually get to that. What if I move you like so and put you this way? I like that plant. I really like it. Like, but no, you just, you can't go there. <laughs> and what a shame. What a shame. Um... What other plant can I put here? I mean, I can put this one here, but it's like right there and it really doesn't look right. And I mean, I can put you here and just size you up, but that's... Mm, well, I don't really know about that. And I don't want to move that over, which I could, like, you know, switch the configuration having the microwave right by the fridge but I don't know I kind of want like a terracotta plant there let's see what else I mean I could do that on the ground that's not bad actually like right here yeah, you know, that's okay. It's not, like, the greatest, but I mean, it's not supposed to be, like, a super show homey type of thing. I mean, this family has, like, collected stuff over time. And that's kind of, like, what I want to put in here. Like, they have this very, not simplistic, but it's not overly cluttered. Maybe with, like, plants, you know? <laughs> but um, I don't want it to be like overly cluttered with um clutter items like books and all the other little knickknacks in here and stuff oh pumpkin <laughs> uh what would they have over here like what what do i think they would have probably uh but out no i think they would like put that back in their cabinets Hmm. No. I don't think that would be out either if they had that. I th think they would have their paper towels out though. <laughs> so wherever I find them and not that one. I could totally see them having a cookie jar. But I'm like dang I feel like that cookie jar would be like. Ooh, maybe like by the tea, because it's like, you know, they get some tea and a cookie, and yeah. Do I want to leave the tea there? I don't know, I feel like everything is kind of getting crowded over here. But maybe I'll just leave that there, do some books in a corner. I know I just said they wouldn't have books everywhere, but I think they would have, you know, some books out, like maybe some cookbooks or something. But I got to find. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even know that they had. This right here would be like, I really like this. Like, I'm glad they added that um, with um, Journey to Batu. Because if I want to make a stereotype nerdy sim, I totally would like that to put in their bedrooms and stuff or house, depending. But what am I looking for? Would they have... See, I like feel like she would have that, but... I don't know. Well, we can always change it if it just doesn't look right, you know? 
Where are those cookbooks? I, oh, here you are. Yes, this is what I was talking about. Like, I feel like she would have her cookbook over here. Maybe I can put the plant over here and then her cookbooks there and then like a cookie over here, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so that way the cookbooks are right next to the stove and I'm gonna move this out the way and no, listen, listen, you're not listening to me. <laughs> I want you over here, like that, like that. Mm, I think, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, and maybe I can do the plant over here and then put would that be like I feel like this would no <laughs> no I also like putting like the veggies and well not veggies like these type of things on using move objects and not actually placing them down so that the counter space can be used because I feel like they won't use the counter space if I just place it there like that like there's still room for them to chop on and I don't know sometimes my sins have problems <laughs> like major problems I think I'm going to move this over just slightly like there so that way it's not hanging off the side and they can still chop up their stuff whatever stuff they have and I think I'm going to go with the lighter I think it looks better oh I like that okay um what else do I think that they would have I feel like they would have like pictures of themselves or something like right here so I might leave that empty for now and I'll place some pictures of them there later on and we can see how that would be that might be nice yeah we'll try that um oh the gardening stuff yes gotta have that I'm gonna go ahead and place you over here you know maybe i'll place it in between yeah that would be kind of nice yeah i like that okay so i think we should put some more stuff here but that just might have to wait until the next uh, part because, you know, it's time. It's time. It's that time, you guys. So I'm so grateful for you guys um, watching. For all of you guys who are watching, thank you for sticking around and uh, building this home with me. <laughs> um so um if you guys like the video you know what to do hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment you guys let me know what you think let me know what um you know you like or dislike about this video or if you may have had an idea of what you think you would like to see in the house or what you think would look good in the house and it's not staying like that you guys i promise and this might even change i don't know it just depends on how i feel that day but um yeah i hope you all are having an awesome amazing rest of your day wherever you are in the world and i'll catch y'all in my next video bye guys